Hello, this problem we have an infinite series and we have to determine if it converges or diverges. And because we have factorials and like n to the n, a good first approach might be the ratio test. So let's try to do that. So in the ratio test, you have to compute the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one over a sub n. So in this problem, a sub n is this piece right here. So this is your a sub n. Okay, so this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity. So you'll notice that everything here in this problem is positive. So there is no need uh, for absolute values. So we'll drop those. And now we're going to work out a sub n plus one. So we will replace all of the n's with n plus ones. So instead of n factorial, we have n plus one factorial. And then on the bottom, we have n plus one to the n plus one. So all we've done so far is replace all of the n's with n plus ones. Now we have to divide by a sub n. So instead of doing that, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So times, and now we have n to the n over n factorial. All right, good stuff. And this should simplify a little bit. First notice, if you have n plus one factorial, over n factorial, well, n plus one factorial is n plus one, and then you subtract one, then it's n, and minus one, and minus two, et cetera. So the rest of it is simply n factorial. So these cancel, and you're left with n plus one. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity. So we have n plus one, then we have n to the n over n plus one to the n plus one. Ah, I see something else that can simplify now. So this n plus one is being divided by n plus one to the n plus one. So we have n plus one to the n plus one. So check this out. This is n plus one, and then this is n plus one to the n times n plus one to the one, right? Because when you multiply these, you actually add the exponents. This is really nice. This is one over n plus one to the n. So let's go ahead and make that step next. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity. So we still have the end of the n upstairs. And on the bottom, we're left with n plus one to the n. So what can we possibly do next? Well, I guess everything is to the nth power. So let's try to do that, raise everything to the nth power. Because so we have n to the n over n plus one to the n, that's really n over n plus one to the n. And this should remind you kind of of something, maybe. If it doesn't, let, let me show you. You see, I've, I've, I've done this problem before, it's been a long time, but I know there's a trick. And here is the trick. The trick is you want to write it as follows. This is really one over n plus one over n. Pretty sure this is the trick. We're gonna find out. <laughs> We're gonna find out if this works. You say, what just happened? Well, it's the same thing. One divided by n plus one over n is the same as n over n plus one because you multiply by the reciprocal when you when you divide. So it's the same thing. And the advantage of doing this is that now you can write it like this. So you get one to the n, which is one over, and then down here we have n plus one over n to the n. Let's keep going. It's almost there, almost to the beautiful part of this problem. This is one over, well, this is n over n, which is one, and then plus one over n to the n, and then here's the beautiful part. This is equal to one over e, right? Remember this limit here on the bottom 
is equal to e. Sometimes people take it as the definition of e, right? You can define e as a limit. So when you see something like this, you might think, hey, how can I somehow incorporate e? And I, I did this problem long ago. It's been a long time. And so when I got to this step, I thought, hey, there's a way to rewrite this in a clever way, and I was able to, to remember. So how do you know what to do this? Uh, experience. E is approximately 2.781. So 1 over this is less than 1. So it converges by the ratio test. Remember, if the uh, result is less than 1, you have convergence. If it's bigger than 1, you have divergence. And if it's equal to 1, you have no information. So in this case, we used the ratio test. We did some clever trickery here and used the definition of E, which is really cool that it actually comes up in a series problem. And because this number is less than 1, we have convergence by the ratio test. Really, really cool problem. That's it.